Imagine if a common deworming medication for pets could hold the key to fighting cancer. Sounds unbelievable, right? But growing research and real-life testimonials suggest that fenbendazole, a drug typically used to treat parasites in animals, might have unexpected anti-cancer properties. Could this overlooked medicine be a game-changer in cancer therapy? Let's dive into the science, the claims, and what experts have to say. What is fenbendazole? Fenbendazole is a medication commonly used to treat parasites in animals, especially dogs. It works by breaking down essential structures in the parasites, preventing them from absorbing nutrients, which ultimately leads to their death. In humans, similar drugs like mibendazole and albendazole are used to treat parasitic infections. However, fenbendazole is mainly effective in the intestines because it is not well absorbed when taken orally. In 2016, fenbendazole gained widespread attention as a possible cancer treatment after Joe Tippins, a man diagnosed with small cell lung cancer, shared his remarkable recovery story. Tippins was participating in a clinical trial for a new cancer drug but also decided to take fenbendazole, 222 mg daily, along with vitamin E, CBD oil, and curcumin supplements. After three months, a PET scan showed no signs of cancer in his body. Surprisingly, among the 1,100 patients in the clinical trial, he was the only one who fully recovered. While Tippin's story is intriguing, it is considered anecdotal evidence, meaning it is based on personal experience rather than scientific proof. More clinical studies are needed to confirm whether fenbendazole is truly effective and safe as a cancer treatment. Research has shown that fenbendazole has anti-cancer effects across various types of cancer cells. Notably, it has been effective against cancer cells that are resistant to common chemotherapy drugs like 5-FU, paclitaxel, and dostaxel. Compared to a similar drug, albendazole, fenbendazole performed better against 5-FU-resistant colorectal cancer, likely because it disrupts how cancer cells process glucose for energy. Despite its potential, one major challenge is poor water solubility which limits how much of the drug gets absorbed into the bloodstream when taken orally. This makes it difficult for fenbendazole to reach the necessary levels in the body to effectively target tumors. Finding ways to improve its absorption and distribution is a key step in making it a viable cancer treatment. This review explores how fenbendazole works in the body, its ability to fight cancer through multiple mechanisms, such as blocking glucose uptake, increasing oxidative stress, and triggering cell death, and its safety profile. We also discuss ways to improve its bioavailability to enhance its effectiveness while minimizing potential risks. Understanding these factors will help determine whether fenbendazole can be successfully repurposed for cancer therapy. Anti-cancer effects of fenbendazole How it works Fenbendazole fights cancer by starving tumor cells, triggering cell death, and disrupting their structure. It works through several key mechanisms. Blocking cancer cells from using glucose. Cancer cells rely heavily on glucose for energy and growth. Fenbendazole inhibits GLUT1, a transporter that brings glucose into cancer cells, and hexokinase 2 HKII an enzyme that helps process glucose. This cuts off the cancer cell's fuel supply, slowing tumor growth and making drug-resistant cancers more vulnerable. Activating P53 The guardian protein. Fenbendazole increases P53 activity, which is a protein that helps stop tumor growth and trigger cancer cell death. It also affects cancer metabolism by reducing lactate production which can help overcome drug resistance. Triggering cell death, apoptosis and phoroptosis. Fenbendazole damages mitochondria, leading to apoptosis or programmed cell death. In some cases, it also induces phoroptosis, another form of cell death that deprives cancer cells of vital nutrients. 
disrupting cell division. Cancer cells divide rapidly, and microtubules play a crucial role in this process. Fenbendazole works like chemotherapy drugs, vincristine, vinblastine, by breaking down microtubules, stopping cell division, and forcing cancer cells into cell cycle arrest, G2-M phase, causing oxidative stress and inhibiting cancer spread. Fenbendazole increases oxidative stress, making it harder for cancer cells to survive. It also reduces the ability of cancer cells to migrate and invade healthy tissues. Why is fenbendazole promising? It targets multiple pathways, making it effective against drug-resistant cancers. It causes less toxicity to normal cells compared to traditional chemotherapy. Beyond cancer, studies suggest it may also help in treating lung fibrosis. While these findings are exciting, more research is needed to confirm its effectiveness and safety for cancer treatment. How fenbendazole works in the body? Pharmacokinetics. Since fenbendazole is not officially approved for human use, most of what we know about its behavior in the body comes from animal studies. However, research on oxfendazole, a closely related drug, provides some insights into how fenbendazole might work in humans. Absorption and metabolism. Limited absorption. When taken orally, fenbendazole does not dissolve well in water, making it difficult for the body to absorb. Liver metabolism. Once absorbed, the liver quickly breaks it down into different compounds. Oxfendazole, its most active form. Hydroxyfenbendazole. Fenbendazole sulfone, the most common form found in the blood. Recycling in the body. Oxfendazole can later be converted back into fenbendazole, helping to extend its effects. Excretion. Most of the drug is eliminated through feces and urine after being broken down. In cattle, 36% of fenbendazole was recovered in feces, meaning much of it does not stay in the body long enough to have a strong systemic effect. Challenges for cancer treatment. Poor water solubility. Fenbendazole does not dissolve well, making it hard to absorb into the bloodstream. Low drug levels in blood. In animal studies, the highest measured amount of fenbendazole in the blood was only 0.32 mg ml, which may not be enough to effectively fight tumors. Slow release. Only 5% of the drug dissolves in the first 15 minutes, but 81% is released within an hour. Enhancing fenbendazole's effectiveness. Potential vehicles for better absorption. Since fenbendazole has poor water solubility and low absorption, researchers are exploring different ways to improve its bioavailability, the amount of drug that actually enters the bloodstream and stays active. Some of the most promising options include DMSO, salicylic acid, and methyl beta cyclodextrin. 1. DMSO and DNTC. Prolonging fenbendazole's effects. DMSO, dimethyl sulfoxide, helps increase fenbendazole's bioavailability by slowing its breakdown in the liver. It works by inhibiting key liver enzymes, CYP2C19 and CYP3A4, that normally metabolize fenbendazole allowing the drug to stay active longer. DNTC, a mix of DMSO, NMP, tween 80, and cremifer in a 1 to 3 to 2 to 2 ratio, has also shown potential to enhance fenbendazole's effectiveness. Both FenDMSO and FenDNTC have demonstrated strong anti-cancer effects, particularly against drug-resistant cancer cells. 2. Methyl beta-cyclodextrin making fenbendazole more water-soluble. When fenbendazole is combined with methyl beta-cyclodextrin 1 to 1 ratio, its solubility increases 60,000 times, from almost insoluble to 20.21 mg per milliliter. This complex also releases 75% of the drug within 15 minutes, compared to just 5% for pure fenbendazole 
making it a promising option for future clinical trials. 3. Salicylic acid. Faster drug release for immediate action. Fenbendazole combined with salicylic acid achieves a 100% release rate within an hour, ensuring the drug acts quickly. This improvement is likely due to hydrogen bonding between the two compounds, enhancing solubility and absorption. Fenbendazole as a cancer therapy in humans. Despite the lack of official approval or clinical trials, some cancer patients have self-administered fenbendazole as part of their treatment. Reported cases show tumor size reduction, but there have also been instances of liver toxicity. Common self-administered regimen. 1 gram per day for 3 days, followed by 4 days off. Liver monitoring is essential, as two case studies reported liver dysfunction that resolved after stopping the drug. Key considerations for safe use. Patients with liver disease, cirrhosis, or liver cancer should be cautious. Combining fenbendazole with glycolysis inhibitors and liver protective supplements may improve results while reducing side effects. Clinical trials are urgently needed to determine safe dosages, effectiveness, and long-term risks. Conclusion and Future Directions Fenbendazole's ability to disrupt energy metabolism in cancer cells presents a promising avenue for cancer therapy. Research in cell lines and animal models has shown its potential to inhibit tumor growth, target drug-resistant cancer cells, and enhance apoptosis. By blocking glucose uptake through GLUT1 and HKII inhibition, fenbendazole effectively starves cancer cells while causing minimal harm to normal cells. Final Thoughts Fenbendazole stands out as a low-cost, well-characterized, and widely available potential anti-cancer drug. Its ability to block glycolysis, prevent lactate buildup, and target drug-resistant cancer cells makes it a strong candidate for further research. While oncologists and regulatory bodies have yet to endorse its use, continued studies could lead to new, accessible cancer treatment options for patients worldwide.